All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to the beautiful Wisconsin woods. My name is Ben. This is my brother Luke of Abby and Luke Music, link down in the description. Today we are up here in the North Woods and we're gonna test out my two quads here. So I've had that one for a while. That's my plow rig, the King Quad 500. It's a 2011. And then here we've got the brand new to me, 1987 pile of junk. Uh, this is a quad runner 250 it's four-wheel drive i think it's like one of the first four-wheel drive quads that was out there and uh these uh these could not be two uh, more different machines uh, unless one was a sport quad i think they are uh they are definitely <laughs> uh, obviously very different uh just even in size here but uh let's let's get on them we'll, we'll get on this beautiful trail here for the for the second time i forgot to turn his camera on the first time so sorry about that luke but uh let's uh let's do it again Another uh, another ride down the trail is never a bad thing, eh? No, definitely not. Yep, and this one you gotta uh, shift to get in gear. That one, look at that, he just shifts right there. That one needs a valve adjustment. So does this one. Yee! And we're off. So I'm in four wheel drive. I've got my, my nice shift levers here up on the the gas tank. Yep, and I've just got the old button down here. Yeah, you got push button. Push button, four wheel drive. You don't have to shift at all. It's like a snowmobile. You got the belt. You don't have to and shift. The clutches. What the heck have I been doing then? You've been shifting? No, I just oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering what you're using to shift. Flipping some lever. Yeah. Yeah, so this one does have, what do we got? We got high, we got low. We got super low, whoa, and I think this actually has differential lock, but it doesn't seem like it works anymore. Super duper low. Yeah, and the one that you're on has that stuff too, but it's all fancy electronic. It is. Ooh. I'll have to, whoa, stop and look at it. Oh, it's got throated by a branch. <laughs> Holy. Yeah. Whoa. yeah, this isn't a, a good trail to be whoa. looking down on. Holy. Whoa. Yeah, I, yeah. Told, I told you to dress warm. I think we should have dressed lighter. I am sweating. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's good temperature out here. That's for sure when you're moving. Yeah, it is. Woo. Saw a guy driving down the road on one. I bet he was a little chilly. Yeah, but... I wouldn't want to do that. Not 60 miles an hour today. No, thanks. No. Oh, look how beautiful it is out here, though. I'm so yeah. glad we, we finally made it up here. It was, it was uh, getting a little dicey at the last minute there. I had to adjust the float on the carb on this, and it seems like that still didn't work. I didn't think Whoop. we were going. We're not, this isn't going to work in neutral. There we go. Ow! Whoa, boy. We made it through. Oh, my goodness. Can we make it up the hill? Oh, yeah. Red Claws got me, got me right up. We're going to have a little more trouble every time we got to go through that spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting deep. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, that is one thing I guess that's worth mentioning is that this one has brand new tires on it. That one I think has the original tires yet. And that quad's got like 6,000 miles on it, I think. So, Does it? Yeah. yeah. So, like they're a little wore out, but this thing almost doesn't even have enough power to Whoa. to make the tires that are on it spin. And we're almost too meaty now. You pretty much have it pinned most of the time. Oh. Boy, if I pinned this one, I think I'd get pinned into the woods. <laughs> With that big uh, shift, or uh, big uh, gas, like, flipper lever on that thing, I've almost ran myself over a couple times. That, that thing's dangerous. Yeah. Nice, you can just use your palm, but yeah. Oh, we're humming now. Yeah, and this thing could uh, probably use some whoo, ah, some maintenance on the shocks. I doubt they've ever been rebuilt. It's a little bit of a bouncy ride, but I gotta say, it's it's actually a heck of a lot of fun, especially in my little woods. This thing is so much more maneuverable than that big thing is. It's like there's actually like not enough weight on the handlebars, so I can like just spin the bar side to side and it doesn't go anywhere. You like have to have it in four wheel. Otherwise, it doesn't go where you want it to. So is this like NASCAR, where it's only interesting if I crash? <laughs> no, don't crash that one. I need it for clearing the driveway. Okay, okay. Well, I was hoping that wasn't your plan or something. No, no, me. no. No, Dad always thinks that I want him to crash, but I actually don't. He just does it all the time on his own. <laughs> Woo, found the sun in a beautiful clearing. Yeah, look at that. Behind some nice smog up there. No, there's no smog up here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, let's uh, let's find ourselves a, another trail here, and we'll we'll switch quads and see what we think. Oh, we should do a, a drag race. 
Who, you wanna? Yeah. And four wheel? Okay. Uh, yeah. So we are gonna do a little drag here. I'm in four wheel high, you are too? Yeah, what are we racing to? Mile per hour wise, or just to a certain... Oh. I don't know, but we better do it quick. On, on go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> well, you do have uh, have twice the CCs that I do. Yeah, so I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> so we will pull off here, and let's do the old switcheroo here. Okie dokie. She rides like a dream. <laughs> <laughs> like a dream where you riding a bowl through a china shop <laughs> oh boy it's a different oh yeah it is yeah this is like oh my gosh that's huge feels giant like you're on a boat or something uh do you know what to do with that now uh yeah it's foot shift all the way down to neutral and the rest are up okay you're already in four wheel oh, boy. all right oh my gosh whoa <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I kind of forgot this thing is a little bit, Boy, this thing a little ridiculous. Feels like I'm riding a mosquito. <laughs> yeah, that thing is so small compared to this. <laughs> you do have to keep it spinning the whole time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing, you barely touch the gas. Oh, my gosh, this thing is, this is nuts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm riding a go-kart. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, I, I think some better tires than this probably would help, but yeah, this thing is, it kind of gets sort of wild. It, like, feels like it's better planted because the suspension is so much better. Yeah. And you definitely feel like you're floating. Like, that one, it, you're getting hammered riding it. Woo! Oh. Is this in four wheel? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I always thought that this thing was, like, kind of underpowered and it's, like, hard to get it to slide around corners like that. But, uh, getting on that thing, that, that, that feels like it's underpowered. This feels much better now. <laughs> I think a, a 750 version of this would be better. It's nice not to have to shift, that's for sure. You keeping up or not really? Oh yeah. Gosh, I downshifted. <laughs> Yee -hoo, doggy. Yeah, the brakes are a, a tad better on this thing too. And I, I guess I forgot to tell you that you don't have a, a left hand brake. I, I wrecked the cable and then just took it off. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, I think this thing could definitely get you in trouble in the woods. This it gets kind of loose if you get going too quick. But oh, it definitely handles better though. Yeah, the transmission on this thing's from the 90s. That's for sure. Oh yeah, it's hard to get that thing to shift. <laughs> and you ha half the time you shift and you don't know if it actually what worked or not. You know, oh yeah. You don't know if it took. <laughs> It's more of a suggestion when you tell it. It is, yeah. As far as climbing up the, the hills at my house, that thing will make it, but just like anything else, oh man, you've got to have it pinned. I need a gear in between these two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can fit another gearbox in there. Yeah, yeah. The, all the gears kind of, I don't know, they feel like they're the same to me. It's like it's either, either buzzing really hard and not going anywhere or buzzing slightly less and not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they're both a lot of fun, though, definitely for different reasons. I mean, they're extremely different machines as far as the, the, the ride feel goes. And I, oh, think yeah. I, I think I'm definitely working a lot less hard on this one, that's that's for sure. This one's still really fun. It is. It's like, I, I don't know if it's, I, I don't know, it's just uh, kind of, I don't really know what the right word for it is, I guess. It's just sort of, and I'm not, nostalgia isn't the right word because we're not old enough. I mean, that thing's older than I am, but. It's more visceral. Yeah, yeah, you just feel like you're a little bit more connected. This this one, you just kind of float along a bit. Yeah. Are we going over that ledge, or should I not follow you? Uh, no, this is the uh, this is the river down here. I almost launched my uh, first uh, LTZ 400 into this. Oh. I can see us both collapsing off the edge there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want to get too close. Uh, all right. Well, do you have any uh, do you have any other parting thoughts? No, I think it's good. Which one did you uh, did you like better? Well, you know, I like them both for different reasons. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll it'll be good to have to. I'm looking forward to hopefully getting that thing going a little bit better. But yeah, I mean, it is. It, it when I was working on that one and having all those problems with it, and it was being such a pain, I was just like, why did I buy this? Yeah. But then as soon as I got it going, it's I don't know. It's just a blast. I don't know what it is about it. It's just it's not something you'd want to necessarily ride all day. No. And I wouldn't, I don't think want to have just the one. I was actually planning on 
getting rid of this since I really don't spend that much time on it. Yeah. Other than plowing, and I figure let it go to somebody that'll get some some fun out of it other than just work around the house. But I don't know. I don't know that I would want to be just uh, stuck with that one. I think it is kind of nice to have them both. I actually felt more planted on the uh, trail on this one. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely feel a little bit more connected with the ground. I think probably because you're getting shook up so much. <laughs> this one's so floaty, and then all of a sudden it'll just shoot you towards the trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is, it's definitely nice to be able to just have the uh, bike do the work for you, not have to shift or anything. Well, the shifting's, yeah, it is more fun though, too. I mean, to be able to shift? Yeah, but you wouldn't, like you said, you wouldn't want to ride it all day. Right. More of a get out and go for it. So, uh, I guess uh, there you go. Thanks for tagging along and dealing with me goofing around with it and rebuilding the carburetor before we went. <laughs> no problem. Uh, yeah, so we'll... Uh, Thanks for taking me. Yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll call it quits for the video here. We got plenty more trails to cover and and then uh, Luke's moving to Arizona and taking the, taking the show on the road. I am moving out to the desert. Yeah. A couple days, well, a little longer than that. Hey, the Tamarack! <laughs> Can't yeah. we say that? Yeah. Look at that. You stole it from him, huh? Yeah, I think this thing is hilarious. It says, now they actually outlawed this in Wisconsin, but it says, warning for operator at rest only. <laughs> 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 Not supposed to have a passenger on it, even though it's got uh, foot, foot pegs and everything. They, they outlawed it. It's just not like it's, it's just not safe, but yeah, it's, it's only for you, for you to take a rest on. So if you, if you get tired, you can, you know, hop up here. That's, that's what it's for. It is kind of comfy though, actually, now that I say it. That one doesn't mm. have that. That wouldn't be much fun to sit on. No, <laughs> no, definitely not. Do you like my license plate? Yeah, that's nice. I wow. made that last night. There's some blood on it too. I cut myself. <laughs> wow, during the art project? Yep. Oh, yeah. no, probably not during. Oh, maybe it was when I was cutting it out of the. It's a uh, from my TV box. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's uh, very nice. Yeah, yeah. It does the job. It does. Does the job. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any comments of your own, leave them down below. We appreciate it. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And like I said earlier, check down in the description if you want to see. My brother doing some singing here and slinging some tunes. Is that what they call it? Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Stay swanky. Get out and ride if you can. And if you can't, uh, make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos. Hopefully, we'll be doing some sled videos if we ever get any snow. And uh, check out some more videos over the top. Yeehaw. This is comfy. Yeah, it looks nice. Have a couple beers up there, but you can't ride it then, you know. <laughs> is mine still blinking? Yeah. Good. Oh, I was going to be mad. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you know how to shut yours down? It's just that top one, yeah. Just press it or hold it?